it's not like we're professionals. I, I like to think I, I, we're professionals. Oh, right, all right, okay. I came across this trailer. I haven't seen it yet, but a few people told me it's a very good piece. Got to check it out. It's called um, A Death in the Gunch. Gunch? I don't know. But it's um, doing uh, a few rounds at the film festivals at the moment. It's getting some heavy response. I thought it'd be great for us to check it out, considering it's being it's a slightly different sort of Indian film. So let me just press play. Let's do that. Uh, a death in the Gunj, right? Or Gunj. Could be Gunj, could be Gunj. It, clearly it's the name of the town uh, because that comes out of the opening of the trailer. That was quite unique. Um, it reminds me of... The length of the trailer didn't bother me. It reminds me very much of Wes Anderson, uh, Wes Anderson films, um, in its tone and its kind of style. It didn't have the look of a Wes Anderson film, but it certainly had the, the, the dark kind of comedy aspects of, of Wes Anderson film. It had the quirkiness, it had the complex interpersonal relationships that are essentially, uh, uh, what's the word, they're, they are they're singular. So you saw actually in the trailer where it brought up lust, romance, friendship. That's kind of creating a singularity around the relationship these characters have and it was really cool to see that develop around our, our main 
main protagonist, who's clearly a little bit, he might have a few issues. Like, Freaked out by yeah, the looks of yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so he's probably quite gullible, quite naive, probably quite innocent and childlike. So, um, yeah, I thought it was interesting. I thought that clearly it's doing well at film festivals, so that's always a good sign. But um, for a film to take what looks like the young child goes missing or is killed or, or whatever it might or might not be, uh, to take a kind of comedic slant on it is very non-Indian cinema and that made it even more intriguing and I love that shot with the tree with the drip of blood at the end of the titles. So for me, uh, for something I even heard of until about three and a half minutes ago, really, really um, quite taken by that. Yeah, the use of um, music really stood out uh, to me. I liked the look also, the setting it in 1979, that was uh, pretty well done. Um, and it's got some really, really cool actors in it. Um, actors that seem like um, Kulpi, I believe it is, who, who clearly selects her scripts um, very carefully. We saw her in Margarita with a Straw. She was amazing in that. And she looks pretty good in this as well. Um, agree with you with what you said about the final shot with the blood drop, uh, dripping down. Um, but the thing that kind of just made me feel really confused with all this, and that's a good thing, is that although they showed like, the trailer's 3 minutes 20 seconds, I don't know what's going on. And that is what excites me about this. I think the title gives it away, because it says a death in the guns. Right. So that's what happens. Okay, well, guys, let us know down in the comment section. Is this a film that you're interested in? Um, we want to hear back from you. Do not forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Join us on Twitter where we take your requests. It's your boy, Salam. Peace out. Take care.